also have new details on a story that was breaking at five. Two suspects arrested following a police chase that began in Seekonk and ended right outside our East Providence studios. New at six, we're hearing from eyewitnesses and police who tell us this could tie into a larger investigation. Eyewitness News reporter Erica Ritchie is live in East Providence with what she's learned. Well, if you're a victim of identity theft, the crash that caused this damage here could be crucial. More on that in just a moment, but certainly some scary moments this afternoon for those who work in this area in the Highland Commons, just on Route 6 here in East Providence. One business owner telling me fear gripped him and he locked his doors. The woman you're about to hear from, though, well, her reaction, much different. There was just a lot of yelling and commotion. It was this chaotic scene that shut down part of Route 6 in East Providence around 3 Tuesday afternoon. After the car crashed, the two men inside took off, running right in front of IHOP, where April Main was working. I ran outside with them and, uh, and I just started snapping. The video she shot shows the suspect in the pink shirt being arrested, the other one on the ground being stunned by police. It was our camera that caught him in cuffs as he was loaded into an ambulance. But all of this is the end of the story. East Providence police say it started in their city when the suspects were spotted by a plainclothes officer in a store attempting to use a stolen credit card. It continued when the same car was spotted in Seekonk. Officers tried to stop the car to inquire to investigate, at which point uh, suspect vehicle took off. And that brings us back here to East Providence, where the car eventually crashed into a Seekonk cruiser and the plaza sign. No one was hurt. Police now looking into whether this incident is only at the tip of the iceberg and cracking down on identity theft. Two suspects who have uh, been victimizing people they possibly have stolen identity from have uh, been taken into custody, and hopefully that will lead to uh, bigger investigations. And the vehicle in this incident here had Connecticut plates. Police say there is a large network of individuals in the tri-state area known to use stolen credit cards. Their investigation will now focus on whether the crash that happened here will lead them to that larger network. Stay tuned. For now, live in East Providence, I'm Erica Ritchie, Eyewitness News.